task for today is to write a 30 second song for the teaser and then take that song and edit a teaser. I found out about something in weightlifting called... But the point is, when you lift weights, you can only do a certain amount of weights in a day before the next day it becomes detrimental. So basically, if you work too hard on Thursday, then on Friday you won't be able to do anything. And I think that that also happens in mental tasks. And I know that this used to happen all the time. It happens less now. But I'll work so hard on writing music that afterwards, the thought of doing any music writing is just repulsive. And I think it's just a very simple physical mechanism of the brain is just worn out. It takes a lot of brain energy to do that. And if you work on it too hard for too long, your brain's like, I'm done. We did it but now I'm dead. So I don't have an answer to that just yet, but I will say that my brain is very fresh. It is not overworked right now. I feel very clear. I can write this 30 second song. When it comes to goofing off when you're supposed to be working, one advantage of not doing that is that when it's actually time to goof off, it's really enjoyable. Wrote a song for the teaser, came out really well. Edited up the teaser, came out pretty well, and I worked on it the whole time, just focused, and now I can just goof off and eat lunch. So, Sony has announced a couple of new lenses coming out on June 24th. They are both eye-wateringly expensive, but they are also kind of exactly what I want. And I don't know where to draw the line. In particular with the 24 to 70 f2.8, this is a 28 to 70. And I got this because it's so light and small. The new 24 to 70 is not as light and small as this one, but it's much lighter and smaller than they used to be. And that extra four millimeters of range from 28 to 24, just, it shouldn't make as much of a difference as it does, but it does. The only problem is this lens costs $800. That lens costs $2,300. That is very expensive. <laughs> mm, I don't know. I don't know. I've got some stuff I could sell. I may do that. I might not. I don't know. Who knows? I feel like a lot of this stuff just comes out in the wash in the end anyway. You save a bunch of money and then something happens and you spend a bunch of money. And then you spend a bunch of money and then you save a bunch of money and... I don't know, man. Let's go for a run. funny, I remember in school or whatnot, they would always say that 20 minutes of good exercise a day is the recommended amount. And I would get way more than that when I was younger. And I was like, is 20 minutes really enough? Turns out it is. 22 minutes, 22 seconds today. Wow. Do that most days, you'll be feeling pretty good with adequate sleep. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's vlog. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one right now. See you then. works is having some sort of event and they need a photo booth. So we will be using the Panasonic GH5 with the 10 to 25 F1.7 and my big beefy Manfrotto tripod. When you have a really solid tripod like this, they're very heavy, but in situations like this, they're fantastic because they're so much less likely to be knocked over or moved. Okay.
right, let's see how this looks. A little bit of lighting. It's out of focus, but the ones that are in focus, looks good. So there's also this little photo printer here that has been sitting here for a while. And I don't think this is the one they're using, but I might as well test, right? Why not? And now it's updating the firmware. You know, here's the thing. This thing was supposed to be for my grandmother, I believe. These technology companies don't understand the market that they're marketing to. This is not for tech nerds who like updating firmware. Okay, I have plenty of stuff like that. I love updating the firmware on my camera. I'm like, oh, what new features did they add? On a Kodak Instant Dock printer, you should never have to update it, ever. You make it right the first time, and you make that work well the first time, and you never update it, you never change it. This is for people who want instant photo prints. This is not for people who like updating firmware. Instant, no it is not. That might be the most thoroughly unimpressive photo print I've ever seen in my life. Not great, Bob. Wow, that's so mediocre. Mediocre to bad. You know, I'm generally not the type of person who feels responsible for stuff that's not my responsibility, but I do feel responsible when somebody in my family buys a piece of tech that is not good. I'm like, oh, why wasn't I there to help? I should have done more to prevent this terrible photo printer. <laughs> he is dinner time! You know what I really want though? I want a 20 to 50. Panasonic makes one for micro four thirds and full frame, but Sony just doesn't make one for full frame. I want 20 to 50. 20 to 50 is such a usable range. Come on, man. 20 to 50, that is a no brainer. I actually have the Micro Four Thirds version and it's fantastic, but look how big this thing is, man. That was a monster. But the versatility it provides in one lens is just, oh, it's the best. I wish so badly I could have that on my Sony camera. I've probably talked about this before, so just ignore me if I have. This is 20 millimeters and the same lens. You can go from this to this and then back out to this. 20 millimeters is so nice and wide, it's very comfortable. But with the 28 to 70, I am the same distance from the camera, but look how much tighter it is. And yeah, you can get a little bit closer with 70 millimeters, but I care much more about the wideness because you can always digitally crop in and get closer, but you can't add more to the frame. I actually think that Sony will eventually make a 20 to 50. They have been making lenses that are just so exactly catered to what I want that Either they're reading my mind or just everybody wants these things. Uh, but anyways, now it is time for a run. Spring has definitely finally arrived. Thank goodness. Pretty soon I can actually wear shorts again. Oh, come on, man. I'm made for that weather. amazing how consistent my timing is. So I take pretty much the same route every day. 22 minutes, 40 seconds. If you'll recall, yesterday was 22.22. That's in the margin of error, baby. Anyways, that'll do it for today's vlog. Thank you very much for watching as always. Hope you have a good one. See you in the next one. So I don't have an answer to that just yet, but. So this battery is 100,000 milliwatts. This is 4,300 milliwatts. Imagine if you use this battery on a phone. Hello, this is dog.